Hello fellow bookquesters, it is I, Aaron the Bookquester. Today I'll introduce you to this mighty book. Scientific, rather. Nick and Tilt says, Robot Army Rampage. A mystery with hoverbots, bristle bots, and other robots that you can build yourself. This book is by Nick and Telsa, our 11-year-old sleuth, who is solving a new mystery already. Well, there's, there's robberies all over town and all sorts of valuable things. An antique, antique comics from the comic store and some other things like jewelry and rings and stuff like that. And that kind of thing, you know what they mean. And at the same time, the Wonder Hut, the place that was selling robot parts and gizmos and that kind of background thing and chemistry and stuff like that, that place is being run by a new person named Hiroko Sakurai. And she is handing out robots for the good of the Wonder Hut. These kind of robots. But then Nick and Telsa goes on floofing and they think that the robots stole one of them. Stole the jewelry and stole the other stuff. Why? Because she was about to check and then the robot said back off and then exploded apparently. And that's very interesting to know. And it seemed to be controlled by some kind of button. So they went to Wonder Hut thinking, thinking Hiroko Sakurai was behind it, but it was actually the bold man who ran the Wonder Hut all those years before Hiroko Sakurai bought it. So the man was bitter and angry. He wanted the Wonder Hut for himself instead of Hiroko Sakura, she he wanted to have the place when the old owner retired, but Hiroko Sakura had more money, so he was really bitter, and he wanted to well have more money from the jewelry and the stuff and the com and comic book and the set of his own place. But he was caught by Nick of Nick and Telsa in the nick of time, and he was sent to jail. And as for Hiroko Sakurai, they and un Uncle Newt, their uncle scientist, seems to be flirt flirting, which is good for Uncle Newt. And it's a great book. And here is one thing for making a hoverbot. First, you have to have this. It's actually quite complicated. You do like this. You need. You can actually make it. And you you make this, connect the batteries, hoverbot. If you throw it, it flies, people. And you know what? I've never built that kind of thing because all those crazy, crazy batteries and the wires and stuff like that, they don't sell those in an average store. So, and it's a great book, a scientific one, and. I think it's, it's uh, um, appropriate for good, nice, short reads, but that's my opinion. It could be long and hard for you, but I guess, well, all our opinions are different. And like always, your bookquester and the bookquester.